Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Friday, so, you know, I'm not trying to make excuses for why I don't uh, post more relevant content, although there are plenty of people out there who say, Prof, you post way too much content. You shouldn't even be posting a another video. Well, look, the beautiful thing about a YouTube channel is you serve up what you want, and the people can decide if they like it or not. Uh, I remember watching a Seton video where he talked about how he would take five, six hours worth of work at the beginning of his YouTube channel career and think this is going to get 10,000 views and it gets 10 views. And then you think, boy, I don't even think this video is that important. And you post it and you think it's going to get 10 views and it gets 10,000. You just never know. But what I can guarantee you is that uh, it's all out of your control and you should never, you should never put your self-esteem based off of how a video does or else it's just a great recipe for a bad day. I say that because some of you have told me that a great recipe for a bad day is what happened to you in regards to these crystals. Now you can see Nick Fury and Hercules are in this banner, right? And that makes sense because the first two champions in this banner are Hercules and Nick Fury and the first two champions in the description of this are Nick Fury uh, and Hercules. The problem is when you go to the Unveiled Nexus Crystals banner, you see something that looks very, very similar to Doctor Doom. <laughs> you can actually see Super Scroll, Doctor Doom, Red Skull, a Moral Abomination, Void, and Symbiote Supreme as the champions that are being promoted in this crystal. There's just one problem for those of you who have been hunting <laughs> Doctor Doom. When we talk about Immortal Abomination, he's in there, right? You look for uh, Red Skull, and you say to yourself, well, is he in here? I don't know. And then you look for Doctor Doom, and you keep looking for Doctor Doom, and you keep looking for Doctor Doom, and you realize, wait a minute, there is no Doctor Doom. And for that matter... Where's Red Skull? Now, I'm not saying the Lord and Savior of my channel uh, is going to be a requirement in this. You do see Super Scroll. But at the same time, if he's in the actual info, he should be in the crystal. So this is a classic case of false advertising. Now, we'll look for Void and Symbiote Supreme, just to be fair and we're looking for void we're looking for void we don't see void we're looking for symbiote supreme we're looking for symbiote supreme we don't see symbiote supreme so clearly they used the same banner for a different crystal and they applied it to the message of this crystal now i'm sure some people would say ah big deal you should have read the item description. And I get that perspective. But at the same time, if you are promising somebody that champions are going to be in there based on a picture, and then it turns out that the champions are not in the picture, that is a classic case for compensation because you are not getting delivered what you were promised. And it's fascinating because even when you scroll down to the description of this crystal, you don't see some of those champions in the banner. And I don't think people care that much about Red Skull. Now, I would say that they should care about Void, but really the reason why I had people reach out to me on Twitter, online, etc., is because of the absence of, yes, Doctor Doom. Because he is missing, he is in this crystal, and he is... Um, a reason why you would spend five or ten bucks. And keep in mind that even though there'll be people who say, well, Prof, these are older champions, a lot of people have them. These Cavalier Unveiled Pack Crystals are for everybody who is uncollected and above. So there are a lot of people who don't have a five-star Doctor Doom, nevertheless a six-star Doctor Doom, and a five-star Doctor Doom can still very much change the course of an account. So compensation, I think technically, according to the rules of the Apple and Google Play Store, absolutely. I think there's an argument for it, but we also know Kabam is really good 
at uh, ignoring things and also just not getting back to it depending on what people say. So I personally think there's a great argument to be made about this banner being literal clickbait, a false promise that should be rectified with replacement crystals.